So let's get started and we begin with uh, the reaction, of course, to that tragic shooting in Florida, apparently in response to a growing gun control campaign by high school students. President Trump has expressed his willingness to ban the so-called bump stock mechanism. And what this does is it turns a rifle into something very close to a machine gun. And bump stocks allow a rifle to shoot in almost automatic bursts and were used by the gunman who shot dead 58 people in Las Vegas in October. Laura Westbrook has more. They are mobilized and organized, and they are demanding lawmakers in their state of Florida take action on gun control. 3,000 kids in one school, that's, that's a big family enough. And having mo like a lot of the nation coming and supporting us too, that's what's changing. We're, be like, we're able to have that voice, we're able to be heard. The president says he is listening. I signed a memorandum directing the attorney general to propose regulations to ban all devices that turn legal weapons into machine guns. I expect that these critical regulations will be finalized, Jeff, very soon. So-called bump stocks allow semi-automatic guns to be modified to shoot hundreds of rounds per minute. The devices were used by the gunman who killed 58 people in Las Vegas last October. It's a sign the president is feeling the pressure from these young voices. Here he is a year ago at a rally hosted by the National Rifle Association. They gave millions of dollars towards the Trump campaign. So let me make a simple promise to every one of the freedom-loving Americans in the audience today. As your president, I will never, ever infringe on the right of the people to keep and bear arms. Never, ever. It remains to be seen if Congress will push through any new legislation. So far, the NRA have successfully resisted every move to tighten gun controls. But the children who are the targets of school shootings are hoping they can make it harder for this type of tragedy to happen again. Another funeral was held for 15-year-old Peter Wang. He was killed while trying to help others escape and honored by being posthumously accepted to his dream school, the West Point Academy. Laura Westbrook, BBC News.